Aristei, Hysteria, Atresia, Niobate, Aconite, Anoetic. I study words, uh, I look for groups, stems, I study anagrams, get to know the different, different words. It's just brilliant. It affects your whole, whole psyche. Everything you think of, you see words in the station, you think, what anagrams can you make of that? I've gone to bed after a tournament and I've had letters running around my head all, all night. So I think, stop. You can have a word like ECH and then you can put an E on the end of it and then you need to know whether it takes anything at the beginning. And then of course you have to know your bonuses. It's just fascinating. There's no way you could ever get bored, ever. What I do enjoy is when I go to a planetarium or you know, Regent's Park Zoo, there'll be an owner go there. You know, O-N-A-G-E-R, which is the anagram of orange, and, you know, I think, oh, fantastic, that's what an onager is. It, it opens up this world, you know, it's sort of like Alice falling through the, the hole. You tumble down, 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 further and further, and, and you, you do feel lost. And at the same time, you're happy to be there. <laughs> nice, get rid of that rubbish. <laughs> when you introduce us, this is Mark. He plays Scrabble, uh, which one or two of my friends <laughs> do. It's, you know, I, I just want to hide in the corner. But no, it's nice. It's, I'm proud of it. And when I won the World Championship, I was, I was on the real high. I think it's very hard to retain a World Championship after you've won it the first time in any event, in any sport, because you you don't know how to deal with it. There's, everyone's expecting you to win it again. Nineteen ninety-nine, uh, the World Championship was held in Melbourne. I was feeling like um, I could possibly win the tournament. I'm having a great time. Um, I'm doing pretty well, and uh, I'm in with a shout, and uh, that always helps. Reached the final, most people fancied me to win it. It was nip and tuck all the way. I think the reason that Mark Nyman is one of the five greatest Scrabble players who's ever lived is that Mark wants to win. Mark wants to stomp on you. Mark, Mark has to win. I was biting my nails, but I was uh, getting very worked up. I could tell he was too. It was a very, very tense situation. It came down right to the wire. Uh, I thought I got a 50 point lead with a couple of letters in the bag and then he scored 50 and then I got stuck with the cue. And I realised as I was playing it that uh, if he played the right move he was going to win by a point. It was a, a horrific feeling. I just remember, just remember the moment of realising that you know, the last move I could not win. There's nothing I could do to get that extra point or two points to win the game. Even one point would have kept me in it. Um, but yeah, 
there was absolutely no way that I could have um, done anything about it. You know, I just said, shit. And, and then I just smiled and pretended to be <laughs> happy that he'd won. And <laughs> and the world champion is travel. It's so hot like a cat. If I had made a mistake and there was an obvious move where I could have scored two points more, you know, because all the rest of the players watching in another room in closed circuit TV and they would have all come across like vultures <laughs> to a dying zebra or whatever just to tell you, yeah, we saw that move. Yeah, we are informed that the uh, best play may be right, R-I-C-H-T. How come you didn't see that? If that had happened, I probably would have, I don't know what I'd have done to myself. Negativity sort of continued, and uh, the following year I fell apart basically. And that one point was the, the catalyst. It wasn't everything, but um, it, it certainly got me starting thinking negatively. To be honest with you, not a day went by for the next three or four years when I didn't think about that one point defeat in uh, in '99. It's been a real life learning experience, and um, mentally it's made me pretty strong um, and, and I think it will put me in very good stead for future Scrabble tournaments and life itself. In a novice game you'll often see the letter sort of staircasing down from the center into a corner. Um, in, a, in, a, in an expert game suddenly you'll fly off in one direction and fly off in another and fly off in another. A competitive Scrabble, really competitive Scrabble, is this incredibly awesome, frightening process. This is one-on-one. -on -one. This is, this is war. You just want to crush them. You want to win. You don't really care about anything else but winning. And I played IT for five. God, grief. I T. I don't believe I played this. I had a bonus on each of the first three goes and didn't see any of them. So why did I put it? Oh, this is laughable. I've played Oterine 20 times. Get down to Gautier, although it's the 20th most common combination of letters, I've never played it. So, in a way, I'm a bit like a train spotter. I'm trying to find Gautier. Bring them to consciousness. The marriage didn't work out, I was divorced and that was that. And I got my early retirement, then I decided I wanted a holiday and <laughs> I've never come off it. <laughs> I spend a lot of time of the year caravanning. It's mama's life. I first got into Scrabble at uh, a caravan rally when there was only one lady and myself turned up. And she said, did I fancy a game of Scrabble? And after that, I've not looked back. And then I discovered it was a competitive sport, not just a, a pastime. I'm hoping these are OK. Saz, I think, is OK. And I'm hoping ABI is all right. I'm not sure. It could be ABY. 21, 22, 23, 46, 47. When, when I get to Exeter, I, I hope to do well. I think the, the key is that you've got to score, to score well with uh, whatever letters you've got. Yeah. It's very exciting.
I've written 280 songs, starting from when I was about 13. I don't know really where I get my inspiration from. I'm just actually from listening to other pop records, thinking, well, I could do that. So I do it. I was playing Scrabble with Kylie as the world spun the other way. And Mulder and Scully popped in to tell me they couldn't come today. Aliens had landed, they were going soon, because no one's ever landed on the moon. I thought I'd throw a party to be held last Tuesday night. All my friends, the Mr. Men, and you got an invite. We all listened to Sleeper as they played the countdown theme, and a man with no voice shouted, is this a dream? If people could put the finger on what it is that makes Kylie so special, then everyone's done it. Because people have tried copying her music, people have tried copying her look, but they never quite master the whole thing. I remember one of my first tournaments I played in, I was playing a really quite high rated player for, the, for my first tournament and I was absolutely shaking playing the game. I was picking the letters out and they were coming out really, really well. I had swizzed for 99 and then finally I got my first nine timer in a rated tournament which is a when it goes over the two triple letter word skills and I, was, I could hardly pick the letters up, I was shaking that much. Scrabble's not just about words, it's about spatial perception of, of the board and it's also about probability. I'd say to me, Scrabble has become more of a way of life now. Car runs over fake bishop, so stride plus a C makes credits and directs. Yeah, you know, people could look at a Scrabble board and not recognise half the words on it. I don't think people can get their the head around the idea that a word is something you say. People think, that isn't a word, that's just two letters stuck together. And you think, but does that matter? Now it's mm, as in double M, or HM as in hmm. And you can have HMM to make it even longer. Hmm. Oh, yes. Brr. But B double R, or you can have it B triple R if you're really cold. Um, Ealing. That was that. Kung Fu Clever Myth. Kung Fu Speed Clever Myth. I mean. Ealing with a K. Leaking. Oh, a linkage. Come on, think, Wayne. Um, you're healing with a U, linguae. And unagile. Oh, too quick. Um, another two. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, eight to think of there. All easy words. Oh dear. I have to get better this for Exeter. Every time that you take up a list of words and begin to to perform whatever ritual it is that you perform in order to feel comfortable with them. You're creating new neurons. You're training your brain to see things differently. You're training your brain to be able to unscramble things. You're training your brain to recognize these unusual patterns that you've seen once or twice um, or more. So, you know, you've got a good stem word that goes through uh, a floater. And it's not just the one word, but there'll, there'll be a few, so it depends where the position of the floater is as to which one you can play. It was when I went on honeymoon. I went from Yeadon Airport down to the Channel Islands to Jersey. Uh, I think I was sick as we came into land. It's probably why I've never been on a plane since. <laughs> About 1980, I got myself a little motor caravanette 
and I, I've trundled around Greece and Yugoslavia, uh, even into Turkey. If anybody came along with me, they really had to sort of put up with uh, a lot of foibles. And uh, I'm too selfish, I think. Yeah, I like the things the way I want, and uh, I wouldn't be prepared to compromise. I suppose sometimes evenings get a bit sort of quiet, but uh, there's always plenty to do in the daytime. Aliundi and Unideal. All the vowels, except for the O. Aurelia, I've played that one, that's the flower. Anti-rape, it sounds like women's lib or something, that one. Hysteria, <laughs> that's probably what I get when I pick up my letters. I reckon I had that the other day, satire plus an X. I never thought of six tari ending in two eyes. A tones and no teats. Yeah, that rings a bell. I remember letting a tone go through with one T, and I kicked myself afterwards. That was stupid. Abuadu. Now, if I, that was on my rack, I wouldn't even put it down as a word. I'd never dream it was a word. Eterio doesn't go with much else at all, and Gautier. I've only once had that on my rack and couldn't get the damn thing down. So I want to tick off the list. They only enough played. It's spotting these words. Alphabetical order rather than probability order. Hmm. There isn't a day that goes past, even how many, seven years on, when somebody doesn't come and say, either sing the title track to me, or, um, <laughs> which is very pleasant to you. How does it go? Crystal Rose Show. <laughs> to the show. In a week in which the European Commission ignored British protests... I do miss addressing an audience. I do miss the interaction with an audience. Let's find out what my audience thinks. What about you, sir? Would you pay for sex? Yes, I have done. Did you hear? Did you hear? Hold on, hold on. They, no, no, no. They go, oh, is he really? <laughs> I absolutely adore words. I think that's why I write so much as well. Um, I write books and um, poems. If I'm ending a relationship, I usually do it by verse. <laughs> yeah, I love words. I think words are fantastic. All, almost orgasmic words can be. <laughs> so that's why I suppose I love playing Scrabble as well. Influenced by the iconic looks of Jack Onassis and Doris Day, the collection of suits, separates and evening dresses come in a shoulder like palette of soft pastels. Pretty and feminine, with an overwhelming feeling of modern romance. I've just finished writing my novel, Never Say Never, which is about a 40-year-old woman fast approaching what she thinks is middle life, isn't married, and sets out a plan to get married within a year. Um, Autobiographical? No. <laughs> I strongly refute that. <laughs> Mixes delicate fabrics and intricate detailing with a sex in the city attitude. The thing that, that gives yeah. me the greatest mm -hmm. pleasure at the moment is Scrabble, because um, I'm new at it. I'm still finding it really exhilarating. Even when I'm driving, if I see the registration plate of a car, I think, ah, oh, those three letters are in that word, in that order. It never leaves you. Z-I-E-R-S-E-I-E-R-S. If you start on, is it A2, second one across the top with the B, then the Z would be on the double letter, and you can play it in a bonus word that goes through the treble. Never mind whether you're doubling the high letter at B first. Yeah, that would be nice. But you couldn't get a triple-triple. Oh, God, it's That's 
what it was making the noise. And I've not got a jack for that. No, it was uh, no cracks or anything on it. Maybe I had it a bit long. But I've got a spare. I've got a jack. But I'm pretty sure I've not got the jack handle that will do that. I need to find the network to get a number from the directory. Aha! We oui, say, uh, uh, no, no, no. So, oh, it's okay, uh, okay uh, garage. Oui, oui. I'm not sure of the date. Oh, bloody traffic. Now I've got a bloody text from these idiots to tell me I can do one, two, one. I know that. Sorry, another lorry. Missed it completely. New message. Vodafone UK. Welcome to France. Thank you very much. You can dial 121 to access your voicemail. I know that. Blow out, black out. I'd have to look in the book, but I would definitely play it if I got it. I don't think I'd play uh, out blow, but that might even be there. I might risk it. I should see that. Just come around that bend. At least they've got warning with that triangle out there, but uh, I'm just wondering whether to put the other one out in case the police do come along because you're supposed to have two nowadays in Europe. I've got another one, I can soon put it out. I think the general picture that people have of Scrabble players are middle-aged white men who wear anoraks and whose other pastime might be train spotting. But that certainly isn't the case anymore. I mean, it's just so totally different. You do get some of them, <laughs> but then you also get someone like me who, you know, runs a nightclub and sings and models and, you know, does a talk show and does lots of different things. I mean, it's just so totally across the board. And, uh, you know, I get off on, the, on knowing that I'm going to be spending six hours playing Scrabble. To me, that's absolutely, you know, I really look forward to it. I think it's fantastic that my mum plays Scrabble and that she's in a league. I wouldn't think about playing her though now. Um, so now I think she's doing brilliantly. And every time I come in, she's on the computer daily, learning new words. She's like a sponge, her brain. I'm sure you might have heard her say we're like sisters more than mother and daughter. She thinks she's my age anyway, if I'm honest. There's certain things that I would never wear that my mum has, and I'm sure there are things that I have that you'd never wear. Yeah. But the things that you wouldn't wear, what, because they're too short? Too short, yeah. This is what I mean about her thinking that she's 21, because there are times when I would wake up and she's just getting in, and I get up on the weekend, what, 10 o'clock? And, you know, she's just getting in. I mean, bearing in mind, she does run a nightclub, but that finishes at five o'clock. <laughs> so she'll leave her nightclub and go to another one. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. And then I come in and she gives me this really disapproving look. Like, yeah, where have you been? <laughs> yeah, she's a, she's a raver, my mum. <laughs> That's just too funny. <laughs> and you kind of feel like you've done something wrong. <laughs> In Exeter, I'd like to win as many games as possible. And um, what I would like to be able to say at the end of the day was that I played the best Scrabble I could and didn't make mistakes, didn't miss bonuses. I'd be really, really happy about that. The countdown conundrum. <laughs> Mark's buzz after two seconds. Yes? Uh, laborious. Well, you certainly made it look so, because you took two seconds. That's <laughs> <laughs> another look. Yes, it was hard work, laborious. It was laborious. <laughs> Mark, I don't know, I've watched you for all these editions. I do not know how you do it. You are, as you well know, and everyone now knows, you are the countdown champion of champions, Mark Nyman. <laughs> Mark, 
when I saw Mark lose in the in in the finals of the World Championship back in 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 1999, um, and he was devastated. It wasn't okay. He he had to win, and he didn't, and that hurt. These are the sort of racks I love. They make you think. Uh, I bet there's something here. Who's going first, anyway? You, you're going first. My wife and I used to play quite regularly of an evening. When he was about 12 to 13, and he sort of... Uh, uh, started to pay attention a bit to the racks. I caught him uh, in bed under the blankets with a torch and he was learning uh, lists of words. And it was fantastic how he seemed to have a sort of photographic memory where he'd see a list of words and he just took them in, absorbed a whole lot. Very soon, instead of me teaching him, he was whacking me. Very good. Life in the old dog yet. It's sort of a remarkable talent. I think it's a privilege to be allowed to play against him. I'm passionate about the game. It's a love-hate relationship. You know, it's, it is like a marriage in a, a different sort of way. A lot of the top players have retired. They've fallen out of passion with the game. But their passion almost invariably returns. I don't recognise any of these. <laughs> I haven't looked at the virus properly since the 99 World Championship. But there's some really useful ones that I've, I've still got a long way to go. L-A-U-A-N. I mean, those, those letters together are useless, so just dump them in Lawan. Great stuff. Thionin, T-H-I-O-N-I-N. Thionin, Jewfish, Wolfish, Lubfish. Melinite, M-E-L-I-N-I-T-E. Ethionine. Methionine, gemelinite, tile fish, fish line, fish tail, fish eye. I don't know the meanings of a lot of the words that I play, but I do find it quite nice when I, you know, go to a, a zoo or a, an aquarium and see a word and, that I know is a word and I don't know the meaning of, and, and then it becomes real. Because all these words are real. And my favourite word is tag him. I've always wanted to play that, T-A-G-H-A-I-R-M, uh, which bizarrely means um, a way of seeking divination in the Western Scottish Highlands by stroking a bullock's hide under a waterfall, which uh, I hope to do one day, actually. <laughs> I haven't actually done any studying of any words for since the last World Championship. But Ex Exeter is a great event, and I'm very, very motivated this year to win it. And it actually looks as though you're stepping out further than you are, but you're not. It's because you're kind of just swaying your hip, which I know so many of you ladies can do so naturally. <laughs> And I used to think if I could meet someone that could salsa, I'd be really happy. But now I'm hoping that I'll meet someone that enjoys Scrabble just as much as I do. Well, I'm still looking. I've been playing for nearly three years now. <laughs> still looking. <laughs> Good afternoon, Diamonds. It will start, the show will start about one o'clock. Right next door to Caesars is a landmark. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Walking office. Hi, Hi. How's it going? Right. <laughs> How's it going? Good. I play um, Scrabble very well and I dance very well. The, the really sad thing is that I don't have a partner presently because I'm sure that that would interfere with things. Staying up all night hasn't affected me in the past. Actually, what I generally do, I'll get home at about six and I'll have an hour's sleep or so and then get up seven, have a bath and then go. Um, so generally, I'm not affected by it. Ah, oh, that's really lovely, beautiful. 
I'm not going to pressure myself about it either. Um, if I win, great, and that feels good. If I lose, I'm sure I'm going to um, learn some words through the games. I don't think that I'm, I'm a happy person, really, because I'm not content. I don't feel that I've got everything that I want to have. Uh, and I'm not talking materially. I've got a nice car and a nice home and everything. And, and materially, I think I've got everything that I want, but I, don't, I haven't emotionally got everything that I would like. But Scrabble, I suppose, is just filling the void. The club's filling the void. Lots of different things are filling the void. It's helping me get through um, days and nights that would be spent, I suppose, on my own. How sad is that? What do you think they'd say if I turned up to Scrabble in this? I will play the best that I can play, and I will be doing the best that I can with whatever the Scrabble gods give me. Good evening and welcome to the Howley Hotel on this Saturday evening. To get to the very top is tough. You need to study so many combinations of letters. You need to keep on learning until you've got our most perfect recall of every anagram. Yeah, there is a connection between the song writing and the, and the karaoke. It's just a way of being creative with words, really. As a child, I always hated sport, but I was always very competitive. So I chose sort of more sort of board games to, to play because um, I could do them. I hated sport and I was rubbish at it. So Scrabble. It's an outlet for a tiny bit of talent. What I want to get out of the Exeter tournament is to beat some players better than me. I would struggle to win the whole thing, but that's always the aim, whatever tournament you go to. Scrabble affects your whole, whole psyche. Everything you think of, you see words, in the station, you think, what anagrams can you make of that? I've gone to bed after a tournament and I've had letters running around my head all, all night. Ah, bonjour, monsieur. Que put? Eh, acto. Merci. I love driving. A lot of people say it's boring, but uh, to me, it's a bit like sitting watching television. You sit in, but you're holding that wheel and, and you've got a, a moving picture. You have to look at the board as a whole, see where the scoring opportunities are, and then see what letters you can fit in round those high scoring spots. It's fascinating. I'm happy to play anybody at any time. If it's a world champion, so what? I won't say I don't stand a chance, I don't want to play them. I would play them for the experience. I just Kelly!
when I get to Exeter, I think I'll get every chance. Let's hope it's my turn. With the letters of ruined plus one, there you make um, things with the mnemonic James is good at fetching wood. Ealing, which was struggling with before, was Kung Fu speed, clever myth. The stared was car runs over fake bishop. Is that right? um, I'm all ready and raring to go in the lap of the Scrabble gods. <laughs> Let's see what they're going to do for me today. Uh, my state of mind is very good. I think I'm, I'm thinking very clearly. Um, so mentally, I'm well up for this, probably more than I've ever been, ever. 19, 19 matches of Scrabble in two and a half days. It takes a bit of getting through. You used to literally play Scrabble and you, you eat and you sleep. I'm hoping to have uh, four, five, maybe even six wins by tonight. <laughs> I learn anagrams of words in case one word won't go down, rearrange the letters and make another word. And I like doing puzzles anyway. I'm always keen on crosswords and word games and things like that. I think Scrabble was made for me, really. I wish it had come about when I was a child. Oh, yes, I've got a killer instinct. But, you know, it's the words that I like. I like the, like the words and you find unusual words. Scrabble is not just a game, it's my life. Everything else is just a game. <laughs> Uh, if I could have your attention, please. Thank you, Andy. Welcome, everybody. Enjoy the tournament. self-assessment. It's, it's about taking these seven pieces, these seven tiles, and maximizing the opportunity that they present for you. Um, it's this little mental battle that you have with yourself. Scrabble is a game of numbers. It's not a game of words. Players are constantly conducting this, this, this mathematical analysis. Six and eight. 16, 20, 21. How many of each letter is left? Uh, what are the odds that I'm going to draw a particular letter at a particular time during the game? All of that plays a, an enormous role in winning and losing the Scrabble. I managed to win. Well, uh, after, after losing all the matches this morning, uh, I was feeling pretty miserable, and then uh, one one on count back. I got a bonus to go out with, and the last one I got three bonuses. So uh, feeling on top of the world at the moment.
No, I'm, I'm ready to rumble now. I'm, I'm uh, starting to get in, into it. I think I could probably go on till three or four in the morning, and I'm just sorry that there's only um, 19 games in this tournament. To be, to be honest with you, um, for a tournament to eliminate luck altogether, the ideal number of games is about 25 to 30. Yesterday, did I lose a game by 293 points? I today lost a game by 140 odd points by someone that's rated lower. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where I am. Hello, what's my name? <laughs> I'm feeling as though the tail's actually coming out quite well. Overall, five out of nine so far. Yeah, there's a tear out, and I'm thinking, yeah. housiest. Do yeah. I like housiest? I played it, yeah. knowing that it was the only thing that would win. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, I'm feeling quite chipper. And then she said, well, why didn't you play house sit? And I said, because I didn't think of it. <laughs> yeah. Apparently it's in the book, isn't it? House, house sit's fine, right? Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't have thought well, I, mean, I, didn't, I wouldn't have thought of that one either, yeah. no. It was four years ago, exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, we were playing each other and there was just something in the air that day uh, the air was just sort of right and we played a normal game but there was you know whatever and one of the key words I think in that game was um, twiglet which got not a word but it sort of became our little pet names for a little while for each other yes <laughs> I don't think Andy can Can't really. Can because if you're I've lost uh, my sixth game now, and um, I'm history. Whenever I lose a game in a tournament like this, I just think, well, <laughs> at least it's not as bad as losing by one point in a World Championship final, and I think that's quite a good way to think. But my blood's still boiling. Twenty-eight. Challenge. Now, for goodness' sake. Challenge. 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 prize for the most improved player was the one and only Crystal Rose. Wonderful. Thank you. Can I say a few words? I'm accustomed to public speaking first. Thank you very much for making me feel so welcome. I know that I'm not like you in a lot of different ways, but then I am in other ways as well. So thank you very much. Um, I'm going to keep spreading the word, trying to get as many people as possible to join, because it's not just for middle-aged men that might go train spotting on their weekends <laughs> off, is it? It's for everybody. So thank you. And the eventual winner, this year's Exeter Match Play Champion, with 15 wins, it's the top-rated player, Phil Appleby. <laughs> Hi. 
Yeah. I have done um, kind of half as well as I wanted to do. <laughs> when I lose games, I think to myself, right, this is my last game. That's it, Scrabble isn't for me. But then something happens. I don't know whether it's just a, a period of time passing, like half an hour, an hour. <laughs> and I'm like, well, when's the next tournament? You know, I need to sort that out when I'm going to go and play again. But it reminds me of the stories that I used to hear when I used to do the Crystal Rose show of these women that stay in these relationships where the man's treating them so badly, but yet they stay because they love them or whatever, you know. And it's like Scrabble. Scrabble is really, really awful to me, you know. The Scrabble gods do not look down on me kindly at all. But yet I come back and I play. Why? That's my man. <laughs> Quite unbelievable, really. I'm just um, shocking myself with the, <laughs> with the way things are going. Each game of Scrabble is like a white knuckle ride. It's roller coaster. There's ups, there's downs, and there's in between bits. And that, for me, is what motivates me to play Scrabble. When I analyse the games afterwards and look through, it's frightening to find that I'm playing moves for 10 and the computer says there's at least 10 moves scoring 30 plus. <laughs> what a dimbo! Fancy not seeing those. And it's happening right through. And uh, I've heard a lot of people say, once the game's finished, that's it, I'm not interested anymore. But if they only looked to see what they could have played, and what they actually did play, they'd be horrified. Yeah, I made a few mistakes, not nothing major, but um, it was, I was basically just thinking too hard. And sometimes you get so intense, you miss you miss the obvious, and you need to step back and just see the overall pictures. I suppose my ultimate ambition now is to to be the first player to win the World Championship twice. Here he is, the man himself, the maestro, Mark Nyman. I've played Anodise and Sodane, but I've not played the anagram Adonise. So there's another one to look for. Nastia. Anestri, Antsia, Resient, Retains, Retinus, Retsina, Stainus, Stani, Steering. I've played the lot. The highest up the list that I've never played in a competition is Gautier. So uh, we'll take it off sometime. You know, Gautier's up to 21. Fascinating. <laughs>